Eh, not enough. Fair. I have trouble reading your emotions today because you were wearing a mask. Yeah. All emotions are in the eyes, the windows to the soul. Yes. So. Sure. Sure. By the way, Willie, I want to thank Mouth, you. Mouser, That's pointless. actually incredibly polite of you to be wearing a mask because you are still sick. I'm just not taking risks. I've spent the entire week in quarantine. I've been going a little bit crazy. Yeah, um, I, I don't, like guys in hazmat suits going in and out of your place. I don't want to take any risks. So you know, yeah. what I just realized, and, and it's been a, everyone's been telling me about how rough it's been with this this season of flu. It's well, it's some the, people have died. So this season of flu is extra fucking bad. And I actually, when I was in a cab the other day, uh, I figured out why. Because it was on the news. It was like, why is this flu season so fucking bad? Because because Detroit's coming. Yeah, because Detroit. No, it's because uh, when you when uh, the flu vaccine gets decided, they got to decide it two years ahead of time, just due to manufacturing concerns. Yeah. So they have to ballpark. Hey, what what strains you think are going to be really fucked up in two years? Okay. And there's like. 15, 20 different strains. So yeah. if someone doesn't carry the two. And so, you, you no, know, it's kinda... where they go, we think 16 and, it's like, and 17 are going to be really fucked up two years from like now. It's like predicting fashion trends. Like, oh, 16 is going to be yeah. hot. 16 is going to be spitting cold fire. And then all of a sudden, oh, it's, it's two and four. So the flu vaccine is like someone 14% effective. So everybody, so like usually, so usually flu, flu vaccines, like what? 50, 60%. That's good. That cuts down on, on spreading. But this year was the flu, the flu shot was trash. Yeah. Okay. So everybody gets it. Old people who get their flu shots so they don't die. They're, they're dead. They're absolutely. Dead. There needs yeah. to be a YouTube channel, which is flu shot review 2017. Did it work? I it have the flu. Work. Let, let's let's hear from some folks on the street. There's always oh, wait, they're all dead. Also, there's always that thing where you hear about the casualties of like at a flood, a storm, or a flu, and you go like, okay, but how many of them are just really old? Most, you know, a lot. you go like, was because that that almost counts less. I'd like to think because oh, like, it counts way less. Old people you're like, lives you're have so no value. So much more likely. Come oh, on, yeah. you're not like if you're eighty, you weren't really fighting it. Well, so here's the thing, right? <laughs> you know, you if, were just kind of waiting. If, you're if, predisposed if, to not fighting it. If you're yeah. above the average life expectancy of your state, province, country, whatever. You, if you die, you shouldn't even be incorporated into casualty reports for disasters. I mean, they mm. need the numbers to make sure the count is correct, but, but sure. Okay, what about the super grandpas? Like, what about, do you remember at the end of Twins when Arnold Schwarzenegger meets his dad and it looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger? Like, when he's young, he's just got gray hair. Yeah. He's a super grandpa. Like, yeah. he's in his late 60s. And I was like, Jesus, those super grandpas went and died of the flu, I don't think. Right? No. Just because they're old? Actually, I remember reading way back that those guys, those specific, like, those big, tough, yeah, like, yeah, fit yeah. older dudes uh, have a bad habit Super of dying weak. horribly and suddenly oh. because they keep working out. And, and you should probably yeah, they're like 65, 70, and then they go to their workout and their body's like, not nah, fuck this! Yeah. Dead. Mm. So um, I I always remember you remember uh, sobering Penn, thought for super grandpas out there. Well, there was that 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 uh, super old guy that was like eighty or so, and he was incredibly f jacked and yeah. fit and um, shredded man. Uh, Jacks, I forget his name. His name was something. His name Jack was shredded wheat. But like there was um a, an episode of bullshit, Penn and Teller's bullshit, where they talked about like aging oh, and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, and it's and and obviously like awesome show. But like one of the things they pointed out was when you get like when you live super healthy and live a, like a, a awesome lifestyle all your you're not prolonging your life you're, you're not subtracting from it but the number is the number it's like death note you've got your number yeah, yeah and yeah, what they yeah, pretty yeah. much concluded was that like you're gonna drop down at, at, on the you're gonna hit the floor at some point but when you hit the floor all the all you're changing is how shriveled up and in pain you are yeah and this guy so your quality of life is pretty good yeah but your life so he will, died he died um, in his early 80s but he was super healthy and fit and running early every morning 80s is still good yeah and he yeah. was like way like he felt great but then he just died and it's so like yeah, yeah that's, the human that's your, being that's your number. Has, so you don't know what's coming yeah. exactly the human being has a total hard upper limit of like one, Jack Lane there you go 115 right 115 is the absolute upper cap and most people don't have that actual upper cap no. most people have 70 80 90 whatever like once you get past that that's gray life yeah that's it's gray life <laughs> exactly you can you can, yes. you can regen the you can regen your gray or red life Absolutely. by by tagging out and working out <laughs> you gotta tag out for 100 percent. but if you stay in yeah 
then you're dead and Absolutely. you get dunked like Goku. No, and, no, and, don't and, let it happen. And if you have a significant other, I guess sacrifice your partner for more time on the clock. And, and the last, so whatever deity you subscribe and, to. And the last thing you want to do is tag out and then get knocked back, switched in. Yeah. And then you, and then all that gray life disappears because you didn't get time to heal it back. You know, this analogy keeps working because you can use, like, uh, tag assists like Hinata, and that's your cat or dog. Sure. That's just free life. That's just bonus life. I mean, you sure. I'm not really, because you don't get more life. You, you guys... just don't subtract. Wow. Like, cigarettes subtract. No, no. Cat, subtract. cat or dog these... equals, like, extra years for real. I think so. Yeah. What are you talking about? You don't know that? People, people with dogs and cats, and in some cases, like, bunny rabbits and shit like that, they live on average like two to three to five years That's longer. That's why they have those pet programs for old people. Is not bring okay. pets around okay, because but... it, it, it literally makes them go, there's things worth living for. Okay, but is that like correlative or is that just like... No, that is absolutely that is absolutely like cause effect. It's it's because of the stress I've reduction. I've never heard of that. Uh, heard of the, the, the day-to-day stress reduction of and the endorphin release of having a furry animal that you love and you pet it and you go, ah, yay. Like, just over time, decreases your risk of heart disease, decreases your risk of this and cancer and all sorts of Pets stuff. or buffs. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Because <laughs> it's like less stress overall. No kidding. You know? Dogs and cats are support classes. That's crazy. The I, problem I, I with get, them is that, that. They, are, they are very, very finite. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, you got to... Unless you're... You got to uh, re-up. Unless you're... Your subscription. Unless you're <laughs> Bette Midler. In which case, I don't know if you've seen that headline, but like Bette Midler cloned her dog. I'm going to assume you mean Barbara Streisand. Did I say? You said Bette Midler, but I've never heard of this. Those are the way. same person, yeah. essentially. Yeah, in my <laughs> head, they kind of are. Uh, it might be Barbara Streisand. So she cloned her dog, and then she cloned her dog again. Yes, exactly. And then so she has two clones of her of her original the dog. day. And she's definitely got more in the lab. Friend of mine was talking to his mom about that, the and labo. the mom asks, "But did they keep their memories?" <laughs> Doesn't work now, that now, way. No, no, no. So in it? six day, you can get your memories back, but they, they 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 clone animals, but they never mention the memories at all. Yeah, or, no, or I'm not sure no. if they do. It's a different animal. It just because they just download genetically your brain. Identical. They download your brain wave. Yeah, Honestly, we're not if, there yet. If you want to perform no, the movie is what might be the most unethical experiment conceivable. I know how we can solve a bunch of these problems. Well, first of all, you're immediate. Uh, like it's kind of like I, I can tell where you're going with this <laughs> because hey, it's the language kit experiment. Well, you know, you know what? Like the most valuable thing to science is is twins separated at birth. Oh, totally. And so every good. like every scientist gets a hard on for that scenario. Oh man, totally different. Like and identical fuck. starting point. Wildly varying input. Uh, and I'm I feel sorry for those people with how harassed and hounded they must get. Like Mormons at the door oh, with man. dudes in lab coats no, being no. like, Do we really need, if you just, come on, like, fuck. I'm, I'm very much not allowed to perform the experiment that would end up with you two. So <laughs> you have it yeah. naturally. Please, no, you, you clone a bunch of shit. Yeah. So and that's then you like raise their, it. That's like their pornography. Weird boxes. It's like, it's instead of asking for a copy of Gigantic Asses, you get an, a copy of like, Twin separated at birth. Sure, sure. And they just, they, they, they're all in on that. It's just, it's a fucking oh, nature versus nurture. Oh, it's Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I need to see what, which is, which build is more viable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, the, the, <laughs> the, the clone, the clone dog thing, like I get it, but it's really fucked in the way that it's like, you just money that situation away. So you always have the same dog. Yeah, no, only if you're an idiot. Like you want, like, I can see you cloning your pet. If you're like the pet that I have, that I love. Parts of the reasons that I love it is because of its particular temperament, its attitude, you know, these things that are innate, so, right? But do you show more love to the one with the recessive genes? Yes. <laughs> no, but that might be the superior one. In the end, you there was a know. secret third dog. Some people don't like getting the same animal afterwards because it reminds them of their old animal. Yeah, like, of course sad. it does. Because Zach was a rescue cat and... Uh, our friend Elizabeth found Zach yeah. and he looked similar to the cat she did lose. Yeah. And she's like, I don't want too real. this one because well, it's too real. I would assume like the average normal person, like it's healthy to go through the beginning and then closure yeah. of losing that animal and then uh, getting chapter, a new one. Chapter so, complete. But you here's, know? here's the problem, right? Say, say like, almost, you don't want to fucking pet cemetery it. 
Elmo's uh, maybe you do. Elmo's Sometimes ten years the old. ground turns sour. <laughs> uh, what you my, put in is not what you get, get out. out. My cat almost ten, right? And he's got five, ten more years, easy, right? Say I want to clone Elmo because I want another. I want an Elmo too, right? The problem is, is that much like Zach, he's a rescue cat. He was found in a slime dumpster and could barely walk, right? Yeah. There are like if I clone that cat. That cat isn't going to be the same personality as the one that came out of the slime dumpster. Certainly not. No. Um, do we replicate that? No, that's probably evil. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. So it's not the same. But besides, you can even you can do it with nature. It's kind of like how... That's why you got to download the memories. Well, let's not forget, like, Billy's brother, Billy 2. Yes. <laughs> Real name 2. It's just like, yeah, okay. Hey, I have a question for you. Yeah. Here's a question. How do you feel about taxidermying your pets? Why? Why? Not why would you do keep that? them around? Why it's would you do that? We've discussed it. It's not great. Why like, would you do? do you, so Elmo would be around forever. There's no version of that that is not creepy. What? Yeah. No, that's fine. But like, I mean, you could pet them. No, but there, there's no, no version of it creepy. that's not super creepy. And everyone that comes over is gonna be like, "Oh, you're one of those people." What do you? How do you feel about turning your pet into a into a a, a drone? How about taking okay. a picture of your pet and putting it on the wall? <laughs> like, I was waiting to hear, like, a ring or a plant or something. Like, the most... Uh, the, like, all that weird death stuff is, like... I, it's <laughs> fucking just... It's an industry that needs to chill the fuck out. Because, quite frankly, they're going no, too far away. They it. either need to chill out or double down. Sure. Don't stay the, the same. The most though. I'm willing to accept with that, right? Especially since I was raised in... it's If you're not in a coffin, you're you're sinning. Right, that was my my my, my background on my my keys. That's weird. Out. You said sinning and just shit <laughs> and then blew God out of your almost pants. S- yeah. smote you. And the reasons why, of course, are because when when uh, Judgment Day comes and you resurrect, if you don't have your body to resurrect too, what the fuck, right? You're fucking up the process. Uh, can't you just be like a spirit, like like no, you got No, no, no. The burial you process. Can't, you being can't in, be a geist. It's it's desecrating. Can't, it's desecrating the can't body. Control dog food. There's, no, there's, a, there's okay. a designated way to take care of bodies. But anyway. The most I'm willing to yeah, you eat them. The most I'm willing to accept Come is Who's the the version of it where it's like if you want to do that thing where you you say you you cremate your pet, yeah. and then you use its ashes to like plant a tree. What if, what if you put them in an urn on the mantle? That's cool. Okay. That's fine. What or or you better. do the, like again, what but, if it's... But, but that like like urns like a mantle urn and 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 coffin are obviously normal. And then when you get into the there's the things where you can make a jewel out of it, like a ring yeah, or a put necklace, his ashes inside a, thing. a pendant. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. all getting weird. The thing with like a tree, a nature, and whatnot, that's cool. I'll take that. That's Did fine. You say a tree, a nature, a nature. A tree, you can, yeah, okay. a tree you can in, turn in, your in ashes into a nature. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. But like that's nice. I would extending like that. beyond that gets a little bit. What like, if instead uh, of what if instead of an urn, it was a statue made out of their skin and bones? That's taxidermy. Okay. Yeah. That's see. I was trying to. I was trying to trick him. Mm. All right. I'm just saying. I just. I just, just don't. Saying, I don't see the appeal. And and that that becomes a a, a a conversation piece when you're much older, and you have the room, like the 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 the, the family room, in which all your loved ones are there. Who, all all taxidermy. Yes, walk, that's correct. Who mm. walks into that house and doesn't immediately 180? Cool people. Oh, I'm in a sequel to uh, Don't Breathe. Yeah, nice. basically. Right? <laughs> also, you know, walking around, stumbling around for a glass of water at night. Yeah. No, that's why you have them in the room. Yeah. Staring at you at all times. No, 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 no. no, yeah. no, no. In their in, own room. In, a, in an own oh, taxidermy room. Okay, okay. Room. So, so it's it's you have a normal life, but when you feel like being fucking weird, you could walk in there and just sit and be like, "I miss you guys." Yeah, you're th- fucked. Yeah, I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's fucked. I think Homer asked Marge, like, "I want you to stuff me and put me on the couch." And hey, she goes, mm, if I, I fucking don't... die tomorrow, I am totally cool with a stuffed taxidermied version of me just sitting right the <laughs> fuck here every week <laughs> for the podcast. There was. There's. I a, am super cool for, with that. I forget which country it's in where it's a normal thing to get the body f- back from the morgue. Uh, for a day for whatever. a last night of partying where they dress you up and kind of hang have you hang out in a seat in the I've corner never heard you of sure those. that's not just Ireland there are photos I've seen photos of dead bodies of people at a party where they're well, throwing they're throwing a farewell hangout it, like, and they're just dressed up and they got like a beer in their hand 
and they're just being the trash that they like were in early life. Early 19th century, though, there's all those creepy photos where they take photos with their dead body well, friends. Well, sure, well, sure, there's that. Were, uh, that always freaked me well, out. Well, here's the thing, because hanging out with dead people used to be very common because you used to when, when... It used to even be hilarious in the traditional Bernie style. That's correct. But way back in the day, yeah. prior to, like, I want to say the 1920s-ish, you had the parlor. And when Grandpa fucking died, sure. you laid him out in the parlor. And then yeah, people came the and parlor. hang out with Grandpa for a day or two. And they took their photos of Grandpa. Yeah. And then you ship him off. And then, I think it was fucking good housekeeping or some shit, just said, That's fucked up and weird. We don't like that. And that's bad for your house. So we're going to call the parlor the living room. Where only living people are allowed. Uh, and that is why the living room is called that. Oh, that's cool. It's straight up, get your fucking dead relatives and shit that's out of crazy. the fucking den, basically. Wow, how about that? Get out of there, you fucks. You know, and we've come a long way. Like, the old Weekend at Bernie's, like, version of, like, just moving the body around. Like, you can put, like, little electric shocks to keep people twitching. Yeah, you, you can make a sequel you know, to that. Oh, you can get try. somebody's dick hard if you shock them enough. Yeah, you should make him twitch around and do a whole... Would you be okay with that? Oh, fuck it. Yeah, so... I if, don't give a shit. I'm we, dead. Could we could we twitch your corpse what, into movement? What fucking legacy do I need to leave? <laughs> if I go, that means my... Everybody in my family is older than me. So if I go, there's probably nobody left except for my nephew. And he's probably cool with it. He'd probably be like, shock him. Shock Uncle Pat. Shock his dick. <laughs> On stream. Yeah. No rules about that in the Twitch guidelines. Now, here's the fun part. My parents occasionally... No one's donating, though. Occasionally watch this stream live. So there's like a 50% chance I'm going to get a fucking weird text message in about 10 minutes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be sure to, uh, to have a nice thumbnail that week of us going, Oh, my God, with your body in the background. Oh, that'd be super <laughs> sick. That's the way to get clicks. Oh, fuck. Should we kill one of ourselves now just to fucking... Just to, just to burn cash, it? Just to cash I'm in. not sure if it's worth the joke. I know. I often daydream it's, about it's, faking it's my good. own death to prank people at my funeral, but, I mean, that's that's a setup. You burst out of the coffin like a water did. Yes, exactly. Yeah. On a jet ski. Never forget about the Necro Pants, by the way. The Necro Pants? Yeah. yeah. The, um, what was that? That was the uh, Nordic, I want to say, yeah, I think tradition so. of turning your friend's dead body into a pair of pants where you wear their skin. Okay, that's cool. And it was basically like a, it was a luck or fortune or power thing. But like, or a yeah. leather face thing. Yeah, yeah. just like turn your turn yourself into a pair of pants and wear those pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that pants. was a thing. And if your friends that an asshole, you shit your pants. Maybe a oh, no, maybe that's Maybe disrespect. like a chapeau or an armband, but never pants. Mm. Okay, you have to get turned into an item of clothing. Okay. I said chapeau or armband. I'm gonna that's go. With, I'm gonna go with hat for sure. Hat. Hat's cool, and I want it to be. Uh, my head from my nose up that somebody wears on their head. Yeah, okay. A bracelet would like be good. Like a toque? Yeah. Ooh, brass knuckles uh, And, is and a it has eye holes, so it's like a, a weird-looking toque. I'm you turn go, into a ball person? I'm going 100% scalp because yeah. that's the obvious. Uh -huh. And if I were like a monster hunter and I was like yeah. like thing and I got killed, yeah. you your your armor of me would have my head, my skull. Yeah, that's fine. So Can that's I that. change my answer to brass knuckles? It's a piece of clothing. Well, it's you'd have to it would be but bones, right? But, but it, it'd be your knuckles. So it wouldn't be made out of brass. Well, it would be human knuckles. Yeah, it'd be yeah. knuckles knuckles. I can punch people. Yeah. But are your knuckles, like, good for being brass knuckles? They look kind of soft. Well, you, they are. It's true. <laughs> what's, what's your milk consumption Why are you fucking at? talking about my soft knuckles? I, or, unless they use now other... Now I'm putting them under the desk so no one can see. <laughs> unless unless they use other parts of your body to make those knuckles. Yeah, like, like what's the hardest? Like, I think it's your, your forehead. Femur. Your, your forehead, femur. Your femur. This is pretty rough. Yeah. Okay. Your forehead's Punch super good because of, of the shape, and your femur is the biggest, strongest. Okay. Yeah, you could. If you, Man, I hope I don't break that one day. Uh, if you break your femur, you're actually good to work. No problem. So don't worry oh, about there it. There you go. <laughs> we could break all of our legs and be fine. Oh, yeah. Waist oh, yeah. down is completely worthless. Yeah, but when I was getting the arthritis, holy shit, was I terrified. Yeah. Uh oh! Can't play video games because my hands hurt. Uh, yeah, there you go. No, that's uh, it. Like we're we're all good to to fucking just just lose it. Oh man, dick don't work. You can still LP.